I'm Ben Hanwalt, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco, and today we're going to talk about some frequently asked questions on the Power Focus 6000. So today I want to talk about the Configurations menu. Now the Configurations menu is where we're going to be setting up all of our I.O. devices as well as all of our tool configurations for the Power Focus 6000. So let's go down into the software. So connected through the web interface, I'm going to come over to the right hand side and you see the configurations tab. So from here we have a lot of different options when it comes to configurations. We have uh, all of our different Atlas Copco I.O. accessories as well as tool and general virtual station settings. So within this the first that we're going to look at and possibly the most important is the tool configuration. Now coming in and looking you can see that I already have a tool configuration created, but if I wanted to add an additional tool configuration, we just go to the top right corner and hit the plus button. So now I've created a secondary configuration, and for this example, we'll create a configuration for a battery tool. So I'm going to go up to the name, change it to battery tool, go down to filter by tool type, and then I'm going to select an STB tool, which is a battery tool. Let's go to edit, and then in here you can see all the different options we have. We have the I.O. points that are on the tool handle itself, as well as some general settings for uh, battery tools, such as inactivity timeout, how long the front LED is going to stay on, as well as turning on the traces. On the accessory bus tab, this would be for if we're using any accessories such as an EHMI, uh, an ST selector, or even a scanner mounted to the tool. So now once I've created this, I'm going to have the option when we are in the virtual station menu to assign these different uh, tool configurations out to different tools that are running on different virtual stations. And I cannot stress the importance of making sure that we filter by the correct tool type so that all of the options associated with that tool are relevant to the tool that you're using. Now for some additional options, we also have the internal I.O., I.O. expander, operator panel, stack lights, so these are all different Atlas Copco I.O. accessories. And when it comes to the configuration, they're all pretty self-explanatory. We're going to click on edit, and then we're going to come in and assign, based on the numbers on the left hand side, we're going to assign different I.O. points on the right hand side. So you can see here I have tightening OK, and OK, tool running, and tool connected. Um, and these are what I want to show on my stack light. Now personally, what I like to do is I like to name my configurations, whether you name it the virtual station or you just name it general stack light configuration. That way you know that you have the correct configuration associated with the correct I.O. devices. Now the last tab that I want to go over is going to be the general virtual station settings. So if we come into general virtual station settings, we actually can filter out our results. So if we go to the edit button, we have the ability to filter out some different options in here, whether it be loosening or abort sequence. Um, they're all defaulted to on, but if we want to toggle a few of them off, this is where we would change that. So I hope that this has been informative for you. I hope that you guys have learned about the importance of the configuration tab and how it integrates with the different I.O. accessories for Atlas Copco, as well as the tools and the virtual station. So if you do have any further questions, please feel free to contact an Atlas Copco representative so that we can get you some answers.